Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to investigate the device in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Alright, so investigate the details of an alert raised on a specific device to identify other behaviors or events that might be related to the alert or the potential scope of the breach. You can select affected device wherever you see them in the portal to open a detailed report about the device. Affected device are identified in the following areas, device list, alert queues, security operations dashboard, any individual alert, any individual file details view, any IP address. When you investigate a specific device, you will see device details, response actions, tabs like overview alerts, timeline, security recommendation, software inventory, discovered vulnerabilities, missing KBs or the updates and the cards if it have if it has active alerts, logged on users, right? You can see the device details. Again, we'll go to devices and you click on here. Here are everything details. In the response actions, it runs along on the top of a specific device page which has uh, include manage tags, isolate device, restrict app execution, antivirus scan, collect investigation package, initiative live response session, right? So if you see overview, tab displays the cards for active alerts, logged on users, device details, health status, data, sensitivity, IP address, first seen, onboarding, last seen, device ID, resources, device management, here if you go this, and if you see the security assessments, the security assessment card will show you how many users have logged out in the past 30 days, and the most and least frequent users as well. And if you click on all the recommendations take you to the all the recommendations as well and from here you click on incidents and alerts it will show you the list of alerts that are associated with the device this list is a filtered version of the alerts queue and shows a short description of the alert like severity status in the queue or classification investigation state category of alert all right and if you see a timeline The timeline will provide you the chronological view, chronological view of the events and associated alerts that have been observed on the device. The timeline also enables you to selectively drill down into events that occurred within a given time period. You can view the temporal sequence of events that occurred on a device over a selected time period. So if I show you so this is where it all started. You can search for a specific specific event here, right? To look for specific timeline events. You can filter the events from a specific data or date. You can export detailed device timeline events as well, right? So you can filter from here. You can export it from here. It is exporting. And more details about certain events are provided and vary depending on the type of events. Already see the file here, right? So if I click here, open file. And if you want to see the event details, you can click on an event here like this and you can see the event details as well. This, this is the exported version of all the events. All right, you can see in detail, okay? And then I already showed you the recommendations all right are the these are generated from microsoft defender for endpoints threat and vulnerability management capability selecting a recommendation will show a panel where you can view re relevant details so if i see here update microsoft windows 10 os and built-in applications it will show me the details uh, what are the associate cv and Open full recommendation. All right. Exports devices. Install devices if there are any. Okay. 
exception options if there are any. So you can create an exception if you currently cannot or do not want to remediate this recommendation. All right. And if you want to request the recommendation, fill out the request remediation request so that the relevant team can address and complete this security recommendation. No changes will automatically be applied. Recommend it. Where do you want, on which date you want to do is the priority. Okay. Track the remediations. It has not been done yet. So, what will it do it? Update Windows 10 to a later version to migrate to known vulnerabilities affecting your device. The security recommendation takes into account the following built-in applications, Microsoft's Edge and Internet Explorer. Okay, and you will see that under remediation that you have submitted. Activity in progress 1, which is this. Uh, there are no blocked applications as of now. And if you would go to the devices again, click on here. And now you also have software inventory. So the software inventory tab lets you view software on the devices. Right, here it is. Along with their weakness or strength, vendor installed version, uh, there are no weaknesses in any software that is being installed and you see the product code as well and then it also shows you discovered vulnerabilities I don't have it any and missing KBs right so this was it I hope this was informative for all of you guys if you have any further queries please mention them in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video Thank you. Have a good day.